So, The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard is a brand new movie directed by Patrick Hughes and stars Ryan Reynolds, Samuel Jackson, Salma Hayek, Antonio Banderas, and Morgan Freeman. And this is the sequel to The Hitman's Bodyguard, which came out a few years ago. And this time around, Ryan Reynolds, he's on sabbatical. He has a lot of trauma from the last movie. I mean, so do I, but whatever. And basically, he doesn't want to do any bodyguarding at the moment, especially for Samuel Jackson's character. And so when he's on vacation, Salma Hayek literally just pulls him back in for another mission where he has to protect her and uh, Darius Kincaid, for, who plays who was played by Samuel Jackson. And a whole lot of hilarity is supposed to commence. So I was not really looking forward to this movie, to be honest. I remember when The Hitman's Bodyguard came out. I didn't see it right away. I remember it's like, oh yeah, that was a movie I gotta see. I gotta see it eventually. And it kind of just left fears, and I'm like, eh, I just kind of forgot about it. Then I saw it online, and I just, I didn't think much of it. I thought Ryan Reynolds and Samuel Jackson were good, and Salma Hayek was pretty good for her small role. And I thought Gary Oldman was just a bland villain, and I thought the overall movie was just very generic in its uh, production and such. So when I heard that there was another movie, a sequel to the first movie, with everyone from the first movie, including the director, returning... I kind of thought, eh, it's probably just going to be the same as the first one, and I'm not really going to think much of it. And it's not like the first movie. This movie's worse. This movie is worse. Oh my god. So, yeah, I didn't really like this movie, to be honest. So, uh, I'll start with the good things, because there are some good he things here. Uh, the opening act is pretty good. Like, the first third of this movie is pretty funny. Like, I was laughing pretty much. I was laughing a lot. Like, I didn't go in with a lot of high expectations, so when I started laughing a lot in the first act, it's like, okay, this movie might not be so bad after all. Oh, was I wrong. I was so wrong about this movie. Uh, meanwhile, Salma Hayek, I thought she was pretty good in this movie. Uh, I thought she was really funny. Um, she's definitely funnier than she was in the first movie, I'll give her that. Uh, also, Antonio Banderas, he's kind of a fun villain in this movie. Uh, he definitely has a little bit more of a personality than Gary Oldman did as a villain in Hitman's Bodyguard, so... I'll give him that. And, uh, yeah, everything else about this movie is just awful. I mean, awful. Uh, first off, I, I mentioned the first act of this movie, the first third of this movie is pretty good. And then with each passing scene, it just became less and less funny. And it just, at some point, it, it went from being really, really funny to being really, really annoying. And that is not good at all. Like, I just, it, it, I just, I basically went from I want these characters to survive to I want these characters to kill themselves. Like, oh my god, I hated everyone in this movie by the end. Uh, Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson, they don't have the same chemistry as they did in the first movie. It just feels, feels very forced, it feels very awkward, and it's just not as good as it was in the first movie. That was the saving grace of the first movie, and here it's just not nearly as good. Uh, a lot of jokes fall apart in this movie, and they're just, even at some point in the movie, it actually became really predictable when a joke would happen, and it's not even that funny. Like, okay, so I, it's minor spoilers. There's a moment where Ryan Reynolds goes through the front windshield of the car, and he's like, huh, I survived. But, and then, like, during the scene, I just go, and then immediately right after that, a car hits him, and I'm like, Yeah, we, we all saw that coming. We all saw that joke coming. It's... Ugh. Yeah. A lot of these jokes are just lame and predictable, and it's just not even that funny anymore. It's just... It's just random. It's boring, and... Oh, my God. And as far as the action goes, it's pretty lousy. It, they use a lot of shaky cams, so you can't tell that these actors are not really in the scene. Even for Ryan Reynolds, which I'm surprised by... Uh, it, it shakes a lot, so it's like, oh, they're, it's like, hey, you know they're in the scene, but they're not really in the scene, they're using stunt doubles. And it's just so obvious at times. And also, a lot of the, a lot of the violence is just very cartoonish at times. Like I mentioned the car thing earlier, it looks very cartoonish when he gets hit. Now, I'm not saying you have to hit Ryan Reynolds on the car, please don't hit people with cars. And, like, it just looks so goofy, it looks... It looks like it was straight out of a cartoon. It looks like out of that video game in Free Guy that Ryan Reynolds is starring in. 
No, I take that back. It looks worse than that. How? How is that movie that how is a movie that takes place in a video game looks more realistic than a movie that takes place in the real world? Tell me that. Uh, a lot of shaky cam, a lot of car chases and gunfights that are just so standard. They're just they don't do anything. Nothing about it just seems innovative or even fun. Like obviously this is not going for awards. This movie's going for laughs. This movie's going for excitement. You're, you're going to have a good time watching it. Except I didn't. It just, it's annoying. It's just really, really annoying. Uh, meanwhile, there are a couple moments in this movie where I thought they kind of crossed the line for how they handled those situations. Like if one involving uh, Ryan Reynolds' character's past and like how he kind of became a bodyguard in a way. It's towards the end and Morgan Freeman narrates it. And it just... It's supposed to be sad, but it, it looks awkward, and again, it looks cartoonish. It's kind of played for laughs, and it's just, it kind of put me off. Also, there's this uh, moment during, like, the last, like, the big showdown, and it's just, there's a moment where, I'm not going to spoil it or anything, but there's a moment where these two characters, where the two main characters get two other characters involved, and why? Like, that's just unnecessary. Like, what did they do to you two? I don't know. Also, I forgot to mention, Frank Grillo's in this movie. For no reason, really. He's, like, he's the one who's, like, kind of, like, brings them all together saying, hey, do this stuff. Just be there and just do all this stuff, you three. You know, Ryan Reynolds, Samuel Jackson, and Salma Hayek, you three are together for this whole mission. He brings them together. Doesn't really do much. His character was pointless, to be honest. And on top of that, his, his accent was so annoying in this movie. It just annoyed me. And, again, it's annoying. Like, a lot of the jokes are just them just arguing loudly over each other. And how many times can you do that before I'm just, like, going, Shut up! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I really didn't like this movie. Uh, so, Hitman's Bodyguard. Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard is a movie I really wouldn't recommend. Unless you really like the first one. In which case, you'll probably really enjoy this one. Because, like... Uh, I, I, I didn't really enjoy the first one, and I think I enjoyed this one less. So, overall, Hitman's Bodyguard, it starts off strong, and then it just gets so annoying, so bad, so fast. Uh, some of the performances are fine. Uh, Morgan Freeman's barely in this thing. And, again, I just wanted everyone to just kill each other in this movie. And I never... <laughs> I try not to say that, obviously, but, like... Man, that was bad. Um... Because the first act is at least strong enough to make you go, hey, maybe I didn't waste my time. Uh, and a couple of performances are fine. I'm not going to say skip it, but I'll still give it one and a half out of four stars. Stream it. So, ugh. So what do you think of The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard? And what's your favorite comedy sequel? Are there any good ones? Comment down below, subscribe to the channel. This is Pat, and stay safe.